Lately, I've been copying a bit of flack for using the first tool domino in my projects. I have no relationship with first tool other than them being happy to take my money. So those thinking it's the YouTuber sellout, it's not that. The way I use it is entirely as a rapid joinery tool. You guys want frequent content? The domino lets me speed up that process. I'm not gonna try and sell you on the tool that it's great, don't get me wrong, but it's very, very expensive and you don't need it. It's not a required tool. Other tools can replace it, they're just slower. That's really all there is to it. However, it does seem like some of you aren't sure on how to create mortise and tenon joinery. So in this series, I'm gonna dive into creating mortise and tenons using a variety of different tools from hollow chisel mortiser to table saws and routers. I should point out this will primarily be a power tool series with occasional hand tools, but it's not gonna focus on hand tool methods because I'm not very good at them. No method is appropriate for all projects. There is no reason you can't mix and match methods to suit your project or your tools. In this introduction episode, tools won't actually be used, but it'll be served as an index for other episodes with the description being updated as new episodes are added. Before those begin, however, let's cover what a mortise and tenon is and why you'd want to use them. Mortise and tenons are one of those fundamental and ancient woodworking joints, particularly for connecting pieces of wood at right angles. The mortise is typically an elongated hole, traditionally with square corners that the tenon, this tongue section, sits into. While this seems very basic, each component provides benefits that you should be looking for in your wood joinery, no matter the type of joint you're making. For example, the rectangular shape of the tenon stops the pieces from being able to rotate like a single dowel can. The shoulders of the tenon help prevent movement in other directions and help hold the pieces square, provided you've made it correctly. The cheeks of the tenon and the walls of the mortise provide a large long grain to long grain connection for glue ups. It's really the cornerstone joint of nearly all solid furniture. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a lifelong woodworker, it's something you should know and use frequently. Part two, mortise and tenon with just a plunger router will launch at the same time as this video. The other methods will be released as I've actually edited and recorded them. Check in the description for the list. Thanks for watching.